All right guys, Eric here from Muskie Homebrew and today we're building a mash tun cooler. Uh, we're gonna use a Home Depot grot cooler, a Blickman temperature gauge. We're gonna tell you what you need to do it and what we're gonna use to make it coming up next. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to review the tools needed for this project. So the tools we're going to need for this build is, are going to be a cordless drill, a three and a half inch hole saw to inlay our temperature gauge, half inch drill bit, adjustable wrench, flathead screwdriver, and a marker to mark where we want to inlay the temperature gauge. So the base of this build is going to be a Home Depot grot cooler, 10 gallon, technically it's a Rubbermaid. They also have a Igloo version. Um, minor differences, one of the main differences, at least for home brewing, is the Igloo has an insulated top, but with the Home Depot version or the Rubbermaid, it actually screws on, and that's just something I prefer. Okay, and now the parts for the actual mash tun portion of this build, uh, we have a Blickman brewmometer, which is a three inch uh, non-adjustable thermometer. And we have our mash tun conversion kit, uh, that was sourced from brewhardware.com, uh, Bobby from Brew Hardware. Uh, if you're not familiar, that he's really got some specific parts um, made for home brewing that really uh, just make cleanup and things much easier overall. So make sure to go check him out at brewhardware.com. Kind of want to point out that, well, we can do that later on the build too. Okay. Well, these it's like, because you can go and buy a 90, but it's not going to have a like a hose barb yeah. end on it. And he like specifically makes these parts with hose barbs on them, uh, machines them however he does it. And uh, they're just specifically made for home brewing. So with the Rubbermaid cooler, you're also left with a rubber O-ring or kind of a gasket, if you will. Uh, we're gonna leave that in place for now and see how we do with a leak test with everything installed. All right, the first thing we're going to do is actually remove this Rubbermaid sticker and start working on where we're going to place our thermometer at. Hopefully this comes off clean. What's so funny, Eric? <laughs> Always video of me blowing stuff. <laughs> That's another website. Now that we have the stupid sticker off of the <laughs> cooler, we can finally figure out where we want to put our thermometer. So all we're going to do is we're just going to mark a circle around our thermometer here, kind of give us a rough center point. What a great circle. That's just phenomenal. Is that a triangle? <laughs> <laughs> Not a triangle. I could use math to figure it out, but... Math. Math for suckers. <laughs> Do not enter. Enter right there. X-Men. So now that we have our position marked on our cooler on where to drill, we're going to go ahead and use the drill to drill. Ooh. Scary. So now the important thing with drilling through your mash tun is you want your drill bit to actually puncture the inside, but you do not want to cut a three inch hole through your cooler. So make sure you don't do that. <laughs> so now we're gonna drill it, <laughs> finally. Oh boy. Yeah, this is good. Just want to get through the orange. There we go. Nice little cutout. Now well, we're gonna just try and clean this out. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a razor blade. Can sometimes be handy also. <laughs> now we have a hole in our mash tun. We can kind of see how it's going to come together just by kind of sticking that in there. So now that we have our center hole 
basically punched through with a smaller drill, but we're gonna make some room for the actual threads of the brewmometer. So now we're gonna use our half inch drill bit to put a hole for the brewmometer to actually sit in. Oh, it's, it's gone. There we go. So now we have a thermometer in our mash tun. It's gonna look a little something like that. Pretty cool. <laughs> what? So we're gonna put the O-ring on the temperature gauge, do a fit test, putting it in. Looks good. Nice tight fit on the inside. And we got O-ring and a nut on the inside also. All right, so that's the installation of the temperature gauge on our mesh tun. Now we're going to start working on the false bottom portion of this build. We're gonna start off by taking out the spigot. I'm gonna leave the uh, rubber gasket that comes with the Rubbermaid uh, cooler itself. We're just gonna try and test fit, and maybe do some leak tests and see how we go from that point. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, install the bulkhead where the spigot was. So there's a drawback to using the Home Depot cooler. Apparently the hole on the bottom can be different sizes uh, depending on how they make it. So the kit is really made for the igloo coolers, um, but we're gonna use the included O-ring that came with the Rubbermaid and see if we get any leaks. Uh, we'll tell you how it ends up at the end when we do leak test it. So that's done. Um, next steps is we have the false bottom we gotta install and that's easier than putting these two pieces together. Eric wants it in his bottom. And this is another one of those custom made fittings by Brew Hardware um, that makes this very easy and very clean. Convenient. Convenient. And they also have the hose barb elbow, which also makes it convenient. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting the hose on this. That's the hard part. Because these are made very large that you really have to push the silicone tubing over it. Nice and deep black. This doesn't need to be tight or it doesn't need, you don't need any pipe tape or anything on there. We're just gonna slide this guy in. Bypassing the thermometer and the bulkhead. We'll probably have to trim it down, but you're gonna end up looking something like that. So the next step we're gonna do is actually do a leak test with our ball valve and bulkhead, make sure there aren't any leaks there. And we also wanna make sure our temperature gauge does not leak. So we're gonna fill up with some water and check for leaks. So we filled it up uh, in our leak test with about nine and a half gallons of water. And it looks like we do have a leak, but it actually seems like it might be coming from the ball valve because we didn't actually tape the threads on there yet. But we really just wanted to test that bulkhead to make sure it wasn't leaking. And it actually seems to be doing good. And our thermometer is also not leaking. So those are good signs. Um, I guess the next thing to do is just tape that bulkhead or that ball valve and uh, then we'll be done. So now that we've leak tested our mash tun, all we have left to do is put in our false bottom and we're good to go. So a few things we learned was that the brewhardware.com kit, even though it is specially made for the Home Depot Rubbermaid cooler, it will come with this extra O-ring and we are actually not using it. We're using the gasket that comes with the cooler itself on the spigot instead. And it seems to be working well so far, but we'll keep you updated on that. Other than that, I'm Eric from Muskie Homebrew and that is our mash tun build. Thanks, make sure to comment, like below, make sure to subscribe for more content. See you guys later. I wish I had a beer, I don't have anything, cheers.